When you're a serial art supply collector, a simple glance at a tube of paint with the perfect color label can lure you into questionable purchasing decisions. And I admit, that was me when my gaze met a few tubes of Me Mary Blue just a few years ago. I get weak in the knees for any pigment made into paint that seems to have a something something I've never seen before. Titanium Nickel. Yellow Vanadium. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Orange Lake. Cadmium Orange. Rose Lake. Quinatochrone Lake. Quinatochrone Violet. Ultramarine Violet Blue. Ultramarine Blue Deep. Fiance Blue. Again, don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Prussian Blue. Thalo Turquoise. Turquoise Green. And if anybody knows what this lovely little half pan of green is, uh, would you let me know? Because I don't know what happened, but the label is gone. Green Earth. Cobalt Green. Venetian Red. Golden Ochre. Sepia. And Payne's Gray. So I always like to go beyond swatching. And honestly, this is the reason, the reason I'm about to explain why I am not a consistent swatcher to begin with because I just have this drive in me to get really right into the painting. And that painting you're seeing here on screen is just that. I wanted to quickly go from swatching to creating a sketch with these colors. I thought Moraine Lake in Alberta, Canada would put all of my splendid blues and greens to good use. So this is gonna help me get a really good feel for the palette that I have in front of me right now. Overall, I gotta say, I don't really know what my problem was. I mentioned earlier that when I first tried these, I was kind of like, wah, wah. but they are a masterful, now don't, don't get me wrong here, a masterful one trick pony. And this is a good thing, I promise. Because for this brand, it's all about clarity. If you like to layer or glaze, this brand will make your heart sing. When it comes to explaining clarity, I think the website describes this perfectly. So I'm just gonna read it to you. May Mary Blue features an absolute purity of pigments that together with gum arabic, compose the totality of the mixture. Imperceptible, transparent, clean. No blending powders and no additives. Nothing harmonizes or synchronizes the shift between the various shades. The real value lies in the transparency of its colors and in the freshness of its washes, in the whiteness of the paper that illuminates this type of painting. The light is behind the color. Like literally, I'm just reading off their website, but when I try to think about how to describe clarity, that that's perfect. And these paints have it all when it comes to clarity. Now, friends, you know clarity is like one of the pinnacle things about good watercolor paints. But for me personally, I love clarity, but I also love variety. And I find myself wishing and wondering what May Mary Blue might do in the, say, gouache department. Well, guess what? They've got the gouache. And I gotta tell you, I'm pretty excited about it. I would love to see their gouache and their watercolor kind of play together on the same page. So who knows, that might be coming in the future. Okay, Christy, come back down to earth. Now, I wrapped up this sketch with a really simple ombre or wash in the sky from dark to light. And I'll tell you what, friends, I am very excited to report it was effortless. I was able to just swoosh a little bit of water up there and then start swooshing across the page 
super simple, super easy breezy, and I got the most glorious even wash without thinking too much about it. And that is a really good sign too for this particular paint brand. I'll tell you what, I think my mind has changed. My mind has changed. I love it. I love them. Now, if you're anything like me, you're kind of like, paints are pretty, paints are pretty, but Christy, how did you create that cute little vintage tin palette with the half pans in it? And let me tell you, friends, that would be a great next video for you to watch. So I'm gonna pop it up here and I'll meet you over there. It's such a fun process. I know you're gonna love it. And especially if you're thinking about picking up a few new colors, for a brand new palette. And until I see you next time, friends, I wish you so much happy painting.